Today is a bit of a special day in that we are on the timeline and uh, we really want to do 400 kilometers in about four hours and a half, uh, which I'm going to say is not amazing. But um, we've got two stops in 130 kilometers and then 120 and then 135, I think. So um, let's see if we can stick to a schedule. That's the new test for today. We'll be departing in two minutes, 8.15. All right, let's see if we can get there before 1 p.m. Right, so we're about an hour away from uh, the next stop. It's going to be a large NG station and we're doing 3.7 miles per kilowatt hours at something like 72, 73 miles per hour on the sat nav. So that's around 115 kilometers an hour, which I think is a sweet spot for this car. It is a way of optimizing speed while at the same time not consuming too much because then you are on the ramp up on the consumption curve. So we're making good time. There's a bit of a headwind, not too much, I think, but that's probably why it's no better than 3.7 so far. And of course, clean motorway, no one on today. It's 8.47 in the morning and yeah, very empty. We are in air de coeur au Saint-Léger and we are now charging. It's taking a bit of time to pair the car with the charger, probably because you need first to put the card and then to plug on these chargers. Yeah, we, uh, we came out at 9.30 and you can see there are four chargers, only two cars. It's 10.03 now and uh, we are departing again. That's exactly the time that we were expecting to spend, except we, uh, we did spend a couple more minutes connecting the car. The next stop is in the suburbs of Paris and uh, we are probably right on time now, 10.04, because uh, we're expecting to drive about an hour, 73 miles only. Uh, it's about 120 kilometers we were expecting to do. There's loads of options for charging when you get uh, closer to uh, Paris now. And again, as this has changed a lot compared to where we were a year ago. Um, and you can see it on the motorway now. Every service station has some form of charging. And it's not, it's not just the one connector. You're talking at least eight in most instances. It's only 10.30 in the morning on a Saturday, but uh, you can see that it's starting to get uh, quite busy on the A1 north of Paris. Uh, we're gonna do a reroute, which means that we are going to have to look at another charger. So that's a great classic test for all their inner chargers in the suburban Paris area. And I think the answer is yes, by the way. So let's, uh, let's take a look. On the new route, uh, there's a uh, great set of chargers in a place called Torcy or Logne. And that's only 41 miles away from here. Uh, we still have 52%. Saint-Denis which is greater uh, suburb of Paris and uh, it's quite busy as expected we are down to uh, 4.1 
miles per kilowatt hours or 153 watt hours per kilometer. The car is still pretty hot at 33 Celsius on the battery and that is the result of having uh, charged 17 miles away and we've got 28%. Um, one of the rules of some, by the way, if you're not going at crazy speeds, 1% one mile towards the end. Um, a bit less than that if you're going to go at 120, 20, 130 kilometers an hour, that's more like uh, 1.5% per mile. Okay, so here, if we've got something like 16 miles, then that means we're going to arrive with probably anywhere between 15 and 20 percent. So that's fine. And again, that's more than uh, we needed. Um, we are going to be a bit tight on the schedule because I think with the traffic getting to our destination by 1 p.m., including the recharge. It's going to be a bit tricky. So let's see. Um, that was the challenge for today. We left at 8.15. We wanted to be there before 1. And it's going to be borderline. I think we're going to be maybe missing a few minutes now. And I think that's a function of traffic. Uh, but let's see also uh, whether we get our second charge to be quite effective. Not far from our next charging point, but we're in the drainage towel, the traffic jam. Although maybe they're just reduction of the lanes, so not too bad, but still very slow now. So there is again a traffic jam because of an accident. So that means that this uh, charger, which was at Lidl actually, um, this is not quite on the way now. Great news, there's another one over here. We've got yet another Electra over here at a very reasonable 35p per kilowatt hours. So I think that's our new plan. Right, so that's where we're going now. We are on 4.3 miles per kilowatt hours. You can see how the minute you start slowing down, it actually kicks back into the four to five miles per kilowatt hour range. Exited the uh, motorway at 11.25. So let's see how much that stop is gonna cost us in time. Because uh, now this is extra time compared to the, well, the time we would have taken if it was a normal car. So we are charging again. We arrived with 13% and uh, within seconds, we were charging on this Electra station. So with the Electroverse card, which is coming in very handy today, you get a really good price. What is not so good, however, is that the gate over there would just not open. It was 11.25 when we got out of the motorway. It's now 11.42. So we, we've lost the best part of 10 minutes uh, on this one and also um, went in the wrong direction. So that's part of the process. I mean, that is the reality. So it's not about the chargers anymore. It's more about the ease of use and the ease of access, right? And this is where we still lose a few minutes. So we've got 72%, we've charged to 80% earlier, and we found ourselves on small uh, B roads really, or A roads at best. And the reason for that is there is a big traffic jam on the motorway. As a result, we've had to take a few alternative roads, but in three miles, we are gonna get back onto the motorway. We are therefore doing 5.5 miles per kilowatt hour so far and uh, we think we've got enough to get to our destination which is in about an hour from now um, and I think something like 60 miles or 55 miles still. So beautiful landscape, uh, nice fields uh, but of course this is not how you get fast and that means we've taken a big hit on the timing now. 12.30 uh, 
that means we won't be there before 1.30. Okay, it's 1.21 now, we'll be arriving in 4-5 minutes. It's 22% on the battery and we are on 4.5 miles per kilowatt hours on the last leg. So what that means is we went uh, pretty slowly on the A and the B roads. We were at 5.5 miles per kilowatt hours. Then we joined the motorway, went at full speed on the limit of 81 miles per hour, which is 130 kilometers an hour. This went down massively to 4.2 or something like that. And then now we're gaining back up. So we'll be arriving with pretty much what you would want to be arriving with. We have technically failed the challenge today because we wanted to get there before 1 p.m. I would say 10, 15 minutes are about the fiddling with the uh, charging, especially the second time we had an issue with the gate that couldn't be opened. And, um, and that is 10 to 15 minutes altogether of fiddling on charging. But the rest, another 10, 15 minutes again, was probably due to traffic and uh, taking us through uh, the traffic of Paris. So that's it. That's still not too bad, but that's still a fail at 1.25 arrival time. And uh, having said that, do we have any regrets? Not really. I think we've really used the battery as we should on this particular journey. Um, so we're pretty happy. Thank you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.